Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be filming for you a hair tutorial and how to revamp this makeup look. So um, stay tuned and we're just going to go right into it. I'm going to start off with my hair first. So the curlers that I'm going to use today are by The Hot Tools and honestly I love them. It's a small barrel and seriously you will just get amazing precision of volumizing curls. So I'm just going to go in and first section my hair. So I've just done sort of taking the top section up and I'm just going to go in with my grip and clip this in. And then the other two sections I'm just going to split them into half. Now before I start, I'm just going to go in with my GHD heat protection. So always start off with brushing your hair through and then we've got to take small sections. So I'm going to start off with the back. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is like a messy look. So you want to take your curlers and you want to wrap your hair away from yourself and then you'll be left with a very loose curl, which is perfect, that's what you want. And then you just keep doing that, so keep going through your hair, and obviously be careful guys, so you don't burn yourself. And then just how I'm doing, just like that, keep wrapping your hair, and just keep going all the way down. in my hair, the ones that you leave overnight. When I feel like they're coming out, I'll go in with this tool and literally just create these curls and it's perfect and it will last you till your wash. Don't forget to use heat protector girls. When I'm curling my hair, I don't know what you guys do, but when I'm curling my hair, I literally like to put on a program and then that way I am not rushing, but I'm also not feeling like this is the biggest chore in the world. But yeah, right now I'm not, so I'm talking to you guys. So I've gone and curled all of my hair. I've not touched it, so this is how it would look after it's been curled. Now, I am literally just gonna show you how I create extreme volume. So now the first thing to do is tip your head upside down and then run your fingers through them into your roots. So literally just tip yourself and then run your hands through them so you're breaking the curls up. Look how major this volume is. Insane, right? And oh, we've not yet applied any products to the hair. It's literally these curls and once you do that step, this is what you get. You get this insane full volume. What I'm going to do is now take this back into a half up, half down. To do this, the first product that I'm going to use is the Puff Me and I'm literally just going to pop this onto my roots here, just over here. And then once again, just comb my hands through and that will just create the volume that I need. Then I'm gonna go in with this thin comb and create my middle parting. I'm gonna take this up, but leave a parting in this look. Excuse the white hairs, guys. I have finally booked an appointment with my colorist. So you need a fine tooth comb and just this part here, just the top bit, we're gonna comb the curls out here. Now we've added texturizing spray. Now what I want you to do is literally just run your hands through all the way. I'm gonna cover those grays up, don't worry. We can touch up any curls where we need to. Keep going all the way. And just this bit here, we wanna make sure that it's even. 
So use your comb, the back bit of your comb, if you have a pointy one like this. And we just want to gently just pull out hairs, which are here. Do you see what I've just done? So now that we've done that, and we've created that volume, this is a messy look guys, so don't worry if it's not insanely neat. I am going to go in with a bobby pin and just pin this in here. I'm going to apply some hairspray to just hold this. It's a little bit of like what Amy Winehouse used to do with her hair, creating beehive, but we're not doing it as high and we're doing it super messy. The hairs that are here, we want to add some more volume to that. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back in and touch the roots up. So once again, away, upwards, and then I'll put my hands through it. Did you see what I just did there? I'm going to do this bit here. I feel like I need a bit more volume in this area and that instantly just creates a lot more volume there so I'm just going to take a few more strands here and redo them but higher up at the roots these are just really simple really quick hairstyles but make such a big impact to the hair and the other trick is guys take really really small small sections when you do this section because the smaller that you take the more root lift you'll give yourself. I'll brush that out with my hands in a second. Colors, guys like I'm not even holding the colors there for so long and instantly I've got amazing volume I'm just gonna go in with some more texturizing spray just here to create that added root lift so guys I'm gonna then go in with my head spray the way to do it Separate your hairs and then spray. Okay guys, the hair is complete and I'm gonna go and do a few little tweaks to my makeup. But um, yeah, what do you think of this look? So big volume, big hair. Seriously, you can pull this off guys. So easy to do. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do with my makeup is I'm gonna adjust my eye makeup. So I'm literally gonna go in with my Fenty Gloss. I'm gonna get some of this on the back of my hand. This is a major trick, guys. So I got inspired by this from a makeup artist called Janara. Honestly, her looks are amazing. And she did this glossy eye and I could not stop thinking, I need to recreate this like in my own way. What I'm gonna do is take the gloss onto this brush and I am literally going to apply this on top of my eye makeup. And if anybody can see to my left, yes, that's my daughter. <laughs> And it's amazing guys, your actual eyeshadow won't budge. Look at that glossy effect now that I've got to my eyes. And yes, that's my daughter right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my duo eye glue, pop this on once again on the back of my hand. And then I am gonna add a few gems to my eyeshadow now. I never make promises. So guys, this is it. This is the finished look and honestly, the volume is insane. The glossy eyes are killing it right now and the cute little gemstones. Thank you so much for watching and if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up um, my daughter is here so i will bring her in come on boys i'm gonna say bye bye well she's gonna try and raid my table here so i'm gonna go but um, thank you so much guys and uh, i hope you've enjoyed creating this voluminous curly hair look no baby you don't want that bubble thank you so much guys Bye!